San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner, welcome back. Thank you, great to be back, thank you. Well, I know there's a public hearing on your first proposed city budget next week. How much of that $3 billion budget will be spent on infrastructure repairs and public safety? Well, a growing portion, and that's the good news. And my commitment was, particularly with our revenue growth, that over 50% of it go directly to street repairs. And so, as we've seen that new money come 35 million, over half of that is going directly to where it needs to be, for our streets, you know, our infrastructure that in every neighborhood people know what we need to be doing. There's also money in for our, our next installment for our infrastructure bond, $120 million. We're gonna be going to our city's infrastructure. Um, that's something that I feel strongly about. I know the city council feels strongly about. And so it's good news. Because we're not cutting back services, we're finally in the ability where we're adding to neighborhood services. Um, the $120 million bond is actually, somebody filed a lawsuit saying it should have gone to the voters. Um, how long will that be wrapped up in there and, and when, when can we access that money? Well, we're gonna be moving as quickly as we can. And again, this is an area where there's absolutely, the council is unanimous in supporting that bond. I strongly support it. We fought so hard to get our city back into the infrastructure bond market after all of those years of the financial crisis. It's unfortunate that somebody's filed a lawsuit, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna provide those services, and I'm confident that uh, we're gonna get to it and get to it very quickly. I'm, I've been asked this, so I'm gonna pass it along to you. Was the bond uh, measure approved by the city council because there was fear that voters may not pass it? Quite the opposite. The council's been strongly supportive of getting back into the infrastructure market because the public is demanding these services. You know, think back to when our city wasn't in the infrastructure market. We had no city credit rating. We weren't able to do these infrastructure bonds. Uh, we've done them for the last several years. Uh, I'm strongly supportive of it. And anybody who drives over a San Diego city street knows the condition of our streets. So I think that's something that we're gonna absolutely move forward on, and it's good news for every San Diego neighborhood. Let's talk about the federal block grant money. I know you'd like to redirect about half of those funds. It's my understanding about $6 million of the 11 million. Yeah. Uh, away from lo local nonprofits who have historically uh, used that money and instead spend it on infrastructure and neighborhoods, specifically with this grant money, how would you like to see that spent? Yeah, we are, and we're spending it for the neighborhoods that need it the most. Uh, and as, once again, we're looking at things like side Walks, streetlights, fire stations, a great use of these dollars in these neighborhoods that are eligible for it, where the city hasn't done the work that it needs to be doing. Uh, matter of fact, I did a, a press conference with the council member Marty Emerald uh, just a couple of weeks ago and Open City Heights and the strong support for the neighbors that said, hey, we need sidewalks, you know, there's no streetlights here. That's the exact thing that I've been talking about when we say it's one San Diego that will put our dollars where they should have been going all along. Um, we're still gonna have some dollars, obviously, for some of the nonprofits as well, but really making sure from a nuts and bolts perspective that the city is providing those services that it really needs to do. Um, getting back to your 2015 spending plan, you also outlined some new options uh, for helping the homeless. Uh, if you could tell us some of those uh, specifics as far as how you would like to help the homeless uh, with this budget. It is, and, and you know, I'm gonna give a lot of credit to Council President Todd Gloria, who did a lot of work on this um, in the last several months, um, and I'm strongly supportive, but we're looking at allocating our dollars where they actually help people make the transition from being homeless. So we're talking about, you know, serial inebriate program, mental health services. It's, it's a housing first model, Peggy, that says, let's make sure we're providing people the services that they need to get them back on their feet and actually transition <clears throat> out of being homelessness. So we're shifting some of those focuses um, into programs that really work. And I'm very excited about it and excited about the opportunity that it's gonna help people that really need our help and deserve our help the most. Well, uh, this has to be my last question, but I know uh, among the other proposals, your budget includes expanding hours for the library and yeah. adding an after-school program uh, for these uh, at, at certain libraries. Tell me yeah. about that and where they're gonna be. Four hours in every single branch library in the city. We're gonna add a dollar to. And you know, I've seen firsthand how important our branch libraries are to our neighborhoods. You know, interesting as we was coming through one of the worst recessions in our in our city in our country's history, our library usage is at an all-time high, and that's that's no surprise because people understand the value of the libraries and what it means to our families. So we're putting those resources in for extra hours and also an innovative program to help folks in some of our neighborhoods for after-school uh, programs for kids in terms of homework, doing your homework at the library. Uh, I think it's gonna be well received. I'm excited to get it going. And once again, it's about partnerships, and in this case, with the city, uh, with the school district. A lot of excitement as we've turned the corner and putting our money back where it belongs. All right, San Diego uh, City Mayor Kevin Faulkner, thank you, thank you so Great much. Great to be back, thank you. I look forward to having you back again. Thank you.